Against the background of the outbreak of war in the Middle East, the world media not only ignored the counteroffensive of the Russian army in the Avdiivka direction, but also took the news about the destruction of the Baltic connector gas pipeline without much enthusiasm, although, this incident may become one of the main reasons for the outbreak of the Third World War. Let me remind you that on the night of October 8, a sharp pressure drop was recorded in the Baltic connector gas pipeline, connecting Finland and Estonia. As a result, the functionality of this gas pipeline was stopped. Later, Finland stated that the gas pipeline was damaged due to external forces, that is, with the help of a targeted explosion, this gas pipeline was practically destroyed. Moreover, the official Helsinki also stated that the communication cable was also destroyed, and that the restoration of the gas pipeline and communication cable would require hundreds of millions of dollars and months of repair work. At the same time, the Estonian side expressed its confidence that the Baltic connector gas pipeline was destroyed by a rather powerful blow, which indicates a real sabotage and an act of vandalism. Meanwhile, despite the fact that the leaders of European countries have not yet made official accusations against Russia, European journalists have begun to distribute publications where they call this incident a sabotage and blame Russia for everything. According to them, the destroyed Baltic connector gas pipeline and communication cable is Russia's revenge for the Nord Stream pipelines and Finland's accession to NATO. Well, it seems that in the territorial waters of the North Atlantic Alliance, you can do anything, and not be afraid that you will be caught and punished. Indeed, something strange is happening in these NATO waters. In September 2022, the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 gas pipelines were blown up, and the perpetrators of this terrorist act have not yet been found. Moreover, the special services of Germany, Sweden, and Denmark not only failed to prevent this terrorist act, but also actually refused further investigation. And, I am absolutely sure that the same thing will happen with the destroyed Baltic connector gas pipeline. The real criminals will not only not be found, but they will continue to hint that Russia did it. And now, my friends, let's figure out who actually benefited from the destruction of the Baltic connector gas pipeline. The fact is that from the point of view of the impact on the economies of Finland and Estonia, the destroyed gas pipeline was not of great importance. You have to understand that Finland uses only 15% of the blue fuel in its energy structure, while Estonia uses most of the blue fuel from the Latvian gas storage facility in the settlement of Inchukowns. Therefore, as revenge, Russia would never have chosen the Baltic connector gas pipeline for destruction. On the other hand, the destruction of the Baltic connector gas pipeline is very beneficial to NATO. The fact is that in January of this year, NATO announced the creation of a special unit for the control and coordination of critical underwater infrastructure. And the destruction of the Baltic connector gas pipeline gives an official reason for NATO to increase its activity in the region and create big problems not only for the Russian Baltic fleet, but also for Russian northern ports. Moreover, let me remind you that two months before the destruction of the Baltic connector gas pipeline, Finland refused to cancel the demilitarized status of the Åland Islands and deploy NATO nuclear weapons on its territory.
The NATO leadership did not like all this, since Finland's refusal interfered with the plans of the North Atlantic Alliance to create problems for Russia in this region. And now, after the destruction of the Baltic connector gas pipeline, Finland will be forced to follow the instructions of NATO and do everything, so that the West remained the possibility to continue poking the Russian bear with a stick.